This is what this video is about. Look at that. 2016 through 22 Camaro lighted grill emblem. All right, the moment we all been waiting for. Let's see if all that hard work was paid off. Uh, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Um, finally got a chance to install this part that I have been so patiently waiting to install on my Camaro. As always, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. All right, like. as you can see here is the wonderful Camaro. Just the SS, not a ZL, convertible. And my toolbox I had to bring home from work. So I'm going to unwrap this because <clears throat> I'm probably going to use this, try to work out of this today. Um, instead of my main toolbox but we're gonna unwrap this but this is what this video is about look at that 2016 through 22 Camaro lighted grill emblem oh man this is gonna look so sick so sick let me pull it out the plastic for you look at that look at that all black and the outside lights up so i'm excited about putting this on and as you can see um i finally caught it on sale i've been wanting it for a while but i refused to pay they wanted like 260 or so almost 300 dollars for this two years ago it finally came down i think i got it for like one 160 but you can see it's plug and play which is even better Plug three things in, boom, you're good to go. Come with instructions. Instructions, of course, the same. You got to take the whole bumper off. Let me open this instruction box. So you can see. Instructions is like bumper needs to come off and all that. That's way too much work. I'm going to try to get around that if I can. I absolutely do not want to have to take the bumper off. But I'm going uh, to take apart my box so I can start working on this, pop the hood, and we're going to get straight to it in a minute. All right, welcome back. As you can see, I got my little roll box all uncovered. It's a nice addition to it. But I got my roll box all uncovered. This is my basic stuff toolbox, so to speak, but roll around. And I moved my car back to give me a little bit more space, as you can see. And we're going to get straight started to it. Now from what I see, all these little bolts here will need to come out. So I'm going to take all of those out. I probably will have to pop that off also with just a push, push tab, just kind of push down in there. And then I believe these bigger bolts here, 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 and there. Once I get those off, then I will have some idea of what else I need to take off. Because what I'm trying to get to is down in there. As you can see here, you get to it through there. So once this is off, I should have a better chance of getting it. I got my little ratchet. And this is a T15 to take them little bolts off. And those are 10s. So we're we'll going to start taking these bolts off. And I'll be back once I am completed. Never mind how dirty under my hood is. All right. YouTube, I finally made it to this point where I actually have this cover off, um, which is pretty much these bolts. One, two, well, this wasn't a bolt, this was a push tab. So it was one, two, three, four, five, six bolts. And it was two little bolts here. And then three and then four and you also have to take this loose I just took it off and let it hang down um, that's probably gonna be the hardest part getting it back in because of this slot it's real tight like you get small hands is good but I got bigger hands so it's a little bit of a wrestle to get that out but as you can see it is off definitely need an underhood cleaning but that's off and now I can access there those tabs right there 
is all that's holding that. So I'm going to pop them off and we on to the next thing. Alright, finally I have the old one out, which is here. Um, it's originally gold. I had put some wrap over it. Of course, it's starting to peel. This is on the front of the car. As you can see, it's like four tabs. Well, they have four tabs and two slots to hold it in place. It's very tricky because I wanted to take it off without breaking it. So I used this flathead to kind of pry, pry on the on the hooks. Let me zoom in so you can see that. But this kind of a, <clears throat> it's kind of an important part because it was took a little bit of work. I had to kind of finesse that to get that out of there. See those little tabs? So I stuck the small flathead and pried them back on the plastic that hold them in place. And then I used these and stuck one on one side, stuck one on the other side to keep pressure outward so that it don't snap back in place. And it worked. It took about five minutes and I got it out. So now, um, now the old one is out. Half the work is done. It's time to start installing a new one. All right, next. All right, welcome back. Next, uh, there was no hole in the middle. I almost forgot to record this part, but I had to use my step bit and drill a 9 16 hole straight through the middle, and that was enough to push the harness through, as you can see. And it got crosshairs in the middle that tell you, let you know you're in the middle. And there's the step bit. to the next thing which I got mine wrapped um, I put the LEDs in here but in any case this is spots I'm sorry let me get positioned see this little opening you can actually just stick your hand in here this is how you pose to pop out the bottle see how I push that out just a little push tab right there. That's how you pop out the bottom, but you don't have to take it all the way out. So I left it in. There's three bolts. One, two, and that one is the third one. They are the same T15 bolts like over there, like under the hood. You open this up. No, it's kind of hard to see but I opened it up and I unplugged it. So now all I have to do is plug the new plug into here. One goes into here. One is a female male connection. One goes into here. The other goes into the old light. One goes into this plug. That's where it gets all this power from. It diverts power back to here and it also powers up that light. And to run it, so I didn't have to take my tire off or anything. I looked up in, in this hole and I look for daylight. Um, you probably you can't see it from the camera, but it's a little reach. If I reach up in there enough, it's a little slot that goes over top of the bumper where I can access the top. So I'm gonna push it through, and I'm gonna show you the results when I am done. All right, I'm back. See, let me get a little bit of light. All right, as you can see, I got the plug through there. The white plug was for the plug coming off the, the main power source, and then come with an additional plug to plug into the light side marker I ran the cord Let's see if I can get some light on the inside you can kind of see how I got the cord ran I haven't zip tied it up yet so it's hanging right now I'm just going to zip tie it but I saw an opening and I just kind of pushed it through that opening the plug in over here 
this holes at the top see if I can see it see that hole right there that's where I'm gonna zip tie it up at so that it's out of the way put these three screws back on and I should be done with that part all right the moment we all been waiting for let's see if all that hard work was paid off um, I'm gonna show you what I had to do but we're gonna do a countdown five four three two one voila I am glow tie official look at that isn't that dope I can't wait to drive it at night to see what it look like I'm gonna add a little bit of night footage to this video so you can see what it look like at night so worth it and it wasn't even hard if you follow my steps on how to do it. Didn't have to take the bumper off. Didn't have to remove the tire. None of the stuff I saw other people doing on their YouTube channels. So um, stay tuned. Give it a thumbs up. Check out the last part of the video. And come back for more in a minute. Look at that. Ooh. Looks so good, so the lights turned on. So good. Let's see, turn the lights off. Yeah. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next video. Glow Tide Fishing.